High altitudes mean high chances of death. When it comes to these 10 deadliest mountains, you may consider taking in the views from base camp, then risk it with a summit push. Here are the 10 deadliest mountains to climb. Number 10, Broad Peak, 8.37%. Broad Peak is located in the Karakram Range of Pakistan and is the 12th highest mountain in the world, with an elevation of 8,051 meters. The first successful ascent of Broad Peak was made in 1957, but since then it has claimed the lives of over 20 climbers. The mountain acquired its name due to the mile-long ridge around the summit. Broad Peak is a challenging climb as it starts steep and never stops until the summit. With steep, icy slopes and the lack of well-defined routes, making a summit push is deadly. These issues combined with the fact that many climbers reach the Falls 4 summit around an hour short of the true summit makes the number of climbers who have ever reached the summit extremely low. Number 9. Chisapangma, 8.8% Located in the Himalayas on the border of Tibet and China, it is the 14th highest mountain in the world with an elevation of 8,013 meters. The first successful ascent of Shisha Pangma was made in 1964 by a Chinese team, making it the last 8,000er to be climbed. The mountain has a fatality rate of almost 9%. Due to it being so isolated and helicopter resources not being available, the mountain has claimed over 20 lives with only around 270 successful summits. Most deaths on the mountain are results from falls. However, altitude and weather have contributed as well. Finally, the terrain from the central summit to the main summit requires climbers to traverse a dangerous knife-edged ridge to reach it. Although dangerous, Uli Steck was able to reach the 8,013 meter peak in an astoundingly Whoa. quick 10 and a half hour climb. Number 8, Gashabram 1, 9.43%. Gashabram 1, also known as Hidden Peak or K5, is located in the Karakram range of Pakistan and is the 11th highest mountain in the world with an elevation of 8,080 meters. The first successful ascent of Gashabram 1 was made in 1958 by an 8-man American team with a pair of climbers, Pete Shoning and Andy Kaufman, using mirrors to communicate successfully with the rest of the expedition at the base camp. But since the first ascent, the mountain has claimed the lives of over 30 climbers, with only 200 individuals reaching the summit. With roughly a 10% fatality rate, Gashabram is a mountain that only the most skilled mountaineers consider climbing. Nestled among a six-pack of peaks, is defined by its steep and slippery slopes surrounded by vertical seracs, making falls and slips a common way to die on the mountain. Number 7, Makalu, 13.6%. Makalu, located in the eastern Himalayas, is the fifth highest mountain in the world, with an elevation of 8,485 meters. The first successful ascent was made in 1955, but since then, it has claimed the lives of over 30 climbers, giving it a death to ascent rate of about 14%. The mountain has a reputation for having some of the most technical routes in the world, requiring advanced climbing skills and experience. Another reason the mountain is so deadly is the path to Makalu is a lengthy journey fraught with danger, requiring the climbers to expend significant energy before even reaching base camp. Similar to K2, many fatalities occur while climbers descend the mountain. Getting safely down from the peak is difficult, as the summit has the shape of a steep four-sided pyramid that features near-constant storms. Number 6. Everest, 14.1%. Mount Everest, located on the border of Nepal and Tibet, is the highest mountain in the world with an elevation of 8,848 meters. While it is one of the most iconic and sought-after peaks to climb, it also comes in as the sixth deadliest as it holds about a 14% death-to-ascent ratio. The first successful ascent of Everest was made in 1953, but since then it has claimed the lives of over 300 climbers. The mountain's extreme altitude, which can cause altitude sickness, its severe and unpredictable weather, and the overcrowdedness causing high traffic can make climbing conditions extremely treacherous. The heavy traffic on the mountain during the climbing season, with hundreds of climbers attempting to reach the summit, has recently led to an increase in deaths in the death zone. With so many deaths happening in one area, climbers have given it the nickname Rainbow Valley. Rainbow Valley got its name from the frozen bodies that remain on the mountainside in their colorful suits. Number 5. Naga Parvat, 20.8% Naga Parvat, located in the western Himalayas in Pakistan, is the ninth highest mountain in the world with an elevation of 8,126 meters. The first successful ascent of Naga Parvat was made in 1953, but since then it has claimed the lives of over 60 climbers. With about a 21% fatality rate, the mountain has earned its nickname Maneater or Killer Mountain. The mountain is so dangerous because of its notoriously treacherous routes and high risk of avalanche, rockfall, and deadly crevasses. Additionally, the mountain has one of the biggest elevation gains between the base camp and the summit, making it an exhausting mountain to summit. The majority of deaths that have occurred on the mountain come before this first summit in 1953 by Herman Buell. With the previous 31 attempts ending in death, Buell laughed in the face of danger and decided to summit the mountain without an ice axe or oxygen. Number 4. Dalagurion, 21.9%. Dalagiri 1 is located in the western part of Nepal and is the 7th highest mountain in the world with an elevation of 8,167 meters. The first successful ascent of Dalagiri 1 was made in 1960 by two Sherpas with Austrian and Swiss mountaineers and was one of the last 8,000ers to be summited. However, since then it has claimed the lives of over 30 climbers, resulting in a death to ascent rate of almost 22%. The mountain is so treacherous that many climbers say it has the habit of making the most experienced climbers disappear. 
Not only is Delagori one one of the most dangerous, but it also has routes that have never been climbed. The mountain's south face has never been climbed, and it is thought to be a suicidal ascent by experts. Like most gigantic peaks, the danger of unexpected and frequent avalanches poses the greatest threats to climbers. Number 3. K2, 22.9% K2, located on the border of Pakistan and China, is the second highest mountain in the world, with an elevation of 8,611 meters, about 230 meters shorter than Everest, and has a death to ascent ratio of about 23%. This first successful ascent of K2 was made in 1954, but since then it has claimed the lives of over 80 climbers. The worst accident occurred in 2008 when inadequate planning, poor communication, and unfavorable weather conditions led to the death of 11 climbers in 24 hours. K2 is so dangerous because the routes are not well laid out, as not many people feel up to the challenge of this foreboding mountain. Additionally, the mountain is shaped like a triangle, meaning the climbers face steep climbs from day one regardless of their chosen route. The climb is extremely technical with mixed rock, ice, and alpine climbing the whole way up. During the difficult climb, climbers have to face the bottleneck, a crossing below a vast hanging glacier, which is the most treacherous part of the climb, which consists of wild weather shifting ice pillars and avalanches that may strike at any time. Number 2. Kanchenjunga, 29.1%. Kanchenjunga, located in the eastern Himalayas on the border of Nepal and India, with an elevation of 8,586 meters, is the third highest mountain in the world. The first successful ascent was made in 1955, but since then, it has claimed the lives of over 30 climbers. Despite technological advances that have helped increase safety on other fearsome peaks, Kanchenjunga remains deadly with the fatality rates hovering around 29%. While the world's other dangerous mountains have become statistically safer over the years, deaths on Kanchenjunga have actually increased. With the mountain being one of the most hazardous environments on Earth, thanks to its shifting weather conditions, avalanches, rock falls, and treacherous elements, Kanchenjunga remains feared by many climbers. Not only is environment difficult, but Kanchenjunga is also known for dangerous terrain as well, with intricate mixed climbing at first and later involving one of the longest horizontal climbs above 8,000 meters. The demanding mountain requires well-planned logistics and a good, strong support team. The most common cause of mortality on Kanchenjunga include hypothermia, falling, avalanches, suffocation, deprivation, illnesses, and rock falls. Number 1. Annapurna 1, 29.5%. At 8,091 meters, Annapurna 1 is the 10th highest mountain in the world. Located in the western part of Nepal, it is the most dangerous mountain in the world, taking the lives of over 60 climbers and giving it a roughly 30% fatality to ascent rate. The first successful ascent of Annapurna 1 was made in 1950 by a French expedition, and despite being the 10th highest peak in the world, it is among the most difficult to climb. Experienced climbers often consider it a death wish to try and summit the mountain. Some say that certain sections of Annapurna are even more difficult to climb than K2 and Everest. For example, the mountain's south face is considered one of the world's most difficult and technical climbs. One of the reasons is that the mountain remains cold and covered with snow throughout the year, and on top of that, it receives high-velocity winds and snowfalls. Additionally, Annapurna is full of seracs, crevasses, and sharp ridges, and is often susceptible to avalanches. Annapurna is also home to one of the most deadliest mountaineering accidents to ever have occurred. October 14, 2014, 43 people died along the Annapurna circuit after they were caught in a snowstorm and avalanches occurred. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have ever climbed any of these deadly mountains in the comments below.